everyone. I am Sonya Rowe coming to you from McDonough, Georgia, which is about 20 miles south of Atlanta, Georgia. And I just want to say thank you, Miss Dean and the Real Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese for this contest. I'm so excited. I'm happy. I've spent the last two weeks coming up with recipes to the point where I've actually missed the submission deadline. So today I'm excited that, okay, I've worked everything out in, in the middle of the week. I've discussed with my mom and my daughter and everything, you know, how we cook and everything, recipes and we have come up with one of the easiest recipes that we have and I just want to invite you today to taste our beef and cream cheese dip it's a wonderful appetizer to go along with say like a dinner we created it because you know I'm not really good at cooking at a roast and I always have those little dry ends so my mom taught me to cut the ends of the roast off and just kind of whip them up with some cream cheese and some sour cream, a little salt and pepper, and put them over some Melba toast. And she said, you know, you put it on the table, it looks fantastic. Nobody even knows that it's the end of your roast that they're eating off of the table. So today I want to invite you in. Only takes a few minutes of your time because after you've been cooking a dinner, you want to get that appetizer in and out of the way. So I invite you to come on over, take a look at everything, and have the into my beef brisket and we're going to go ahead and put that right now in the blender you can use a blender or a processor um, I usually yield about six ounces of the ends of the meat and today I'm fortunate to have just a little bit juiciness in it and we're going to take eight ounces of the Philadelphia cream cheese that's the wonderful thing. I mean, the thing that I enjoy most about cooking is the fact that it just brings everybody together. I mean, we have spent hours in the kitchen cooking and talking and coming up with meals that are so simple and so easy that we think that we have created something for hours on end and we've really only been talking for hours on end. I use about a cup of sour cream and I mix it with the cream cheese. I mean, we come up, once we made a recipe that we thought took us about two hours, but when we actually realized we had only been cooking for about 30 minutes, but we had been talking for about an hour and a half. So I kind of like to do recipes and things that simplify the process and to make it just a little bit easier. So we're going to mix our cream cheese and our sour cream together. And I have found this has worked well. I mean, people have been eating it thinking it's one of the best things that they have eaten when in actuality it is the simplest thing that you can do. So we have our cream cheese and our sour cream mixed together. We're going to take about two tablespoons of milk. We're going to pour it in there. And then I have like a little dash of seasoning. I don't want to put too much because I already have seasoning on the roast. But I got a pinch of salt and pepper, or just a little garlic seasoning, just a little onion salt. And we're going to go ahead and dump that in there. And then we're going to mix it all together, stir it up. Now, for our consistency for the dip. We're going to blend it together again, just to kind of give it that creaminess before we stir in our beef. And as you see, the more that we are blending, the creamier that it's getting. So, and I like the fluffiness of it. That's the one thing I do like about Philadelphia cream cheese. It always gives you a fluffiness. I don't care what recipe you use. When you use the cream cheese, it always has just a fluffiness to it, and I like that. So we're gonna put that down right there. I'm gonna stir that around. Okay. And then we're gonna take our six ounces of beef that we've been having in our blender or food processor, which is easiest for you, and we're gonna go ahead and chop it. Give it a little bit of grinding, and that's it. 
probably want to do it for about, mm, I usually do it for about one minute. Because you don't want it to be too fine to kind of where it looks unedible. So here is our ground beef and it smells so good. Oof. And we're going to take our brisket and our roast beef. And we are going to take it. And we're going to mix it up really good in our cream cheese mixture. And some people think a lot of times that like it'll have a sweetness to it, but the sour cream takes out the sweetness of it and kind of gives it a blended flavor. So if you notice here how we've stirred it together, and then we're going to take it and we're going to put it on our crackers, excuse me, on our toast. I love Melba toast. We're going to put it like that, just so. And you can freeze this up for a couple of days, or if, like, say, for instance, if you make it the night before, you can take it, and here we have it. We have our brief beef, excuse me, and cream cheese dip, which is a wonderful appetizer to put on a table, especially for a day like Mother's Day, like we have today. And I just put it down and everybody can dip in and take a look at it. So if you'll pardon me while I take some of my favorite dip, I greatly appreciate it. It's usually my appetizer is the only thing I get a chance to eat because I get so caught up in cooking and talking that I'm too tired to sit down and eat a meal. So thank you once again, Paula Dean and the real women of Philadelphia cream cheese. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.